Hey everyone, welcome to another episode. Today what we've been looking at is an account from a viewer and it's in Texas. And they say, last year a friend and I were hiking in a North Texas nature preserve where the Trinity Elm Fork River runs through it. And we were hiking after hours. The park was closed. Roughly one mile in, in a wooded area, we saw what looked like a caveman, wild man, had black hair all on his face, and he shielded behind a tree. And as we moved, he would move, shielding behind a tree. I reported it on the Sasquatch website and got the first Sasquatch on the map in the Dallas area. Three weeks later, they closed the nature preserve for remodeling. It was opened a year later, and the dirt trails where we saw the creature was all overgrown. You couldn't get through the thicket, and they put a Bigfoot sign on the main trail. Okay, so let's go and have a look at this. And I think we're looking in uh, on the ArcGIS. Okay, so we've looked in. I'm zooming in on the uh, Trinity Elm Fork River that goes between goes between Ray Roberts Lake and Louisville Lake. And it's just northeast of Denton, northeast of Denton, almost east of Denton. So I'm trying to find the nature preserve along this river. So I'm going to flip over to Google, Google Maps. There is a Clear Creek Nature Reserve. Let's just uh, put the satellite imagery on. It would be quite, this area looks like it's quite uh, rural with farms farmland around the rivers, uh, around the, this, this particular river. The Elm Fork Trinity River. I think I said that backwards before. So it's the Elm Fork Trinity River running from the Ray Roberts Lake down to Louisville Lake. As you can see, farmland right up and up against the uh, the river, there is a bit of a riparian zone, a wooded zone along uh, the river, and then larger spots, uh, forested areas. Roads intersecting across the river at various points. We call it a green green belt corridor. But let's focus in on, I do believe that this might have been the nature preserve. It's the Clear Creek Nature Heritage Center. And you can see the quite detailed trail network. It must go on for several miles of, of trails. All right, so let's have a look and see what we find. First of all, we'll have a look at the Google Street View. Yeah, let's street Google Street View. Let's go right in and have a look at this nature preserve. Very nice. Narrow road. Just enough for a couple of cars to get by if you were careful. Nicely paved. All the way down there, if you're riding a bike or something, it'd be really nice little stops along the way so you can access trails. And maybe that's what uh, these uh, people were doing. A couple of people down here late at night. Yeah, really cool. It's in wooded. You can take these trails all the way to the river. Clear Creek Natural Heritage Center. So let's have a look at some of these photographs. Beautiful trails, marshlands. I'm assuming that's part of the part of the river. Those trails again. Nice boardwalk over some wetland, some swamp. Vast, vast range of uh, landscapes in this uh, nature preserve some different looking trails this is like a grassland there's wetlands forested areas
and different tree structures. Interesting. Again, it looks just a uh, quite a different landscape. Again, some a couple of different structures there. You can see how a wild man or a Bigfoot could potentially be seen here, you know, in this diverse landscape. So different. All these different trees, and there's another structure. I'm not saying that that was made by Bigfoot, but uh, that's what they're supposedly known for. And we've seen two or three structures here. So far, there's another one. I'm not saying that that's built by Bigfoot. Some kind of footprint there, but hundreds of pictures, beautiful photos. And this, yeah, look at this, uh, this tree here. Isn't that, uh, that root system of the tree is quite unique. I mean, it's something that I, I've, don't recall ever seeing before, but, uh, maybe it's a common thing in Texas. I don't know. This is a kind of almost, uh, where I live in Canada. That would be, you know, that would be a typical trail. That's what, uh, our trails look like up here where I live. This is not, <laughs> this is quite unique here. Again, like just such a wide variety of landscapes. Really impressive. Okay, so there you have it. There's a sighting in, in the Elm Fork Trinity River area. And I'm thinking it was in this Clear Creek Natural Heritage Center. I could be wrong, but I was thinking about the complex trail network and uh, some of the photos at the Clear Creek Natural Heritage Center. Wow, pretty awesome photos and uh, possibly some Sasquatch uh, structures, but nothing to say they weren't made by humans. But anyway, it's a really good account and awesome. Thanks a lot.